Hey everyone, it's Masa here, and today I wanted to talk about manipulation of the human body within martial arts. Within martial arts, our main opponent is human. That could be another human, or if you do more of a philosophical kind of thing, it could be yourself from yesterday. We don't learn about how to fight off alligators or horses or anything like that. We may have their influences in our fighting style, but we don't learn a tiger style kung fu to use against tigers. And if you are in such a situation, you're at a McDojo and you need to get out of their stat because that tiger will kill you. Anyway, our main opponent is human. As such, we learn about the human body, to varying degrees depending on your school. And if you're shaking your head no, I'm not saying we know what lymph nodes are or how many bones are in our feet. But I think it's safe to say we all know where the liver is. Or if you don't, you probably should. It's a great target to hit and a really important one to protect. While we generally don't learn the nitty gritty details, we do learn about human anatomy in a more practical way. While I can't tell you every little detail about the arm, I do know how to set up an arm bar. And I know the bicep can be particularly sensitive. I can also perform wrist locks. Um, I guess I know about carpal tunnel, but that's kind of a stretch. I do know some great stretches for the wrist though, because I sprained it doing bear crawls. But that's the great thing about martial arts. We get a better understanding of our body, which then lets us use our bodies in more efficient and fun ways. I know plenty of people who use kicks to open and close doors. My fence has a wooden gate and it gets tough to open after a rain, and I definitely need that thing open. Mostly because there isn't room to kick. But this understanding of the human forms allows us to manipulate our opponent's bodies. And the manipulation isn't just of the human body alone. If we're talking about sparring, we work their blind sides, we set them up in a way that we can attack, but they have limited options. This isn't just an understanding of limbs and where they can and can't reach, or what positions they can and can't bend in. This becomes a study of what we see and where we can't see. How often do you go to class and you consciously point out all the areas you can see and all the areas you can't? Probably not often. But I bet if I showed you a picture of a fighter, you'd be able to find their blind spots relatively quickly. Martial arts is a fascinating study of what we see and what we can't. I've definitely had conversations with people on what's easier for people to see, and even certain ways we position ourselves or our weapons to make it harder for our opponent to judge the distance. We can't look all the way up and all the way down at the same time. We can't look left and right at the same time, and we use that to our advantage. We get our opponent to focus on a flurry of attacks toward their head, and they won't be looking for that leg kick you're setting up. Martial arts is also a great study of balance. Now, my base is in Shaolin Kempo. I moved, long story, but I'm practicing Muay Thai now. We were learning a front sweeping class, something I hadn't really gotten to in my old art. I did, however, have experience with sweeping my opponent backwards. Well, human balance is so consistent that I was able to understand the mechanics of it right away how my feet are aligned with my opponent, understanding how their weight shifts and how to change it, knowing not to sweep the rooted leg and all that, is something shared within all martial arts. The human body, how to shift your weight, where to shift it, and why. And not even just your weight, but the opponent's weight as well. I'm sure we all have stories when we either fell over or our balance wasn't quite right to pull off that guard or attack. If you learn sweeps, this is an excellent example of this since you're literally learning how to put someone off balance. I know that when I first learned sweeps, I had a lot of trouble with it. Just how to align myself consistently every time, how to get the person off balance, but once you get that, it really clicks. And once it clicks, you can then take those mechanics and apply elsewhere in your art. We may have different ways of executing it, but at the same time, we all use similar mechanics. An armbar and grappling isn't necessarily how you're going to do an armbar while on your feet, but it still relies on hyperextending their arm and preventing them from bending their elbow. It still blows my mind that there are so many martial arts that do things so differently, but still use the same mechanics. I just find it so fascinating that I can constantly find new connections within the martial arts and new ideas that just make me wonder, what else is out there that I just don't know about? I hope this opened some of your eyes and gave you a new appreciation for martial arts and how it's more than what you see, but it's also what you don't. See you later. Masa out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you know someone interested in martial arts, send them our way. And let us know what you would all like to see and hear about next. You can contact us on our Instagram. You can comment here below the video. 
And you can also hit us up at combatconnection.org. Thank you.